day, I'm like, mm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Within the talking stage. Baby, why you got a brand new truck, but you keep trying to come to my house? Because you don't have nowhere to live. You trying to slick ass for money? What you doing? Get your priorities straight. You need to live at work. That's what you need to live at. Why you telling me you gonna give me the world, but you renting the car and you sleeping on the couch? But your Instagram look good though. You presented yourself very well. All these kids, y'all got so many kids. What's going on? Oh, and then my favorite, you ain't take me out. You ain't spend no money. You talking about you want to get me pregnant, baby? I'm going to call the police because that's a threat to me. <laughs> that is a threat. A threat on my life flag like on the play. It's thrown, like flag. Yeah, blocked. I don't play about that. I don't play about that. You going to get who pregnant, stop who life? No, you not. Got to go. Out the door. It's, 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 it's not, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, where's the needle in the haystack? Where Where's the needle? Fucking abuser. Why he does the things that... Um, I had to reply to this comment like ASAP before I forget about it. In my opinion, I feel like it's common sense. We don't have to fucking say that it's all men. Because the motherfuckers who know, they know that it's not all men. We should not have to point out the fucking obvious. And we should not have to point out fucking common sense. It might not be all men, but it's majority of them. And it's too many of them. It may not be all men, but the ones who exclude themselves from situations just like these, just like you're doing, either A, does not speak up in situations when they do see another man doing something, B, would try to sit there and justify the shit, three, throw it in a fucking black woman's face for being abused, just like how you doing. You saying not all men and then turn around saying it's the pookies and the ray rays y'all like, not the real men, cut it out. It's proving my point even fucking more. Because this woman who got hit in the fucking face with a brick didn't even know the man. He asked her for her number and she said no. She wasn't trying to pursue him. He was trying to pursue her. So you saying this really has no relevancy to this conversation. She's talking about the break, girl. I'm going to skip that one. I didn't know she was talking about that. We're skipping it. They're going to turn on you sooner or later to respect me because of how I dress and I cover up and I carry myself like a lady, but then turn right around and disrespect that woman over there or this woman over here because of the article of clothing she chose to wear. And then on top of that, you think you got a good dude. This man is not a good dude. He's a trash human being. But y'all are such pick me's and you guys have all of this pent up internalized misogyny that you don't realize how garbage your man really is. Because I know that there are men in the world who respect women just because it's the right human decent thing to do. They might not pick that woman that's wearing booty shorts every day or whatever, but they're not going to be like, well, fuck it, damn bitch, you ain't gonna, they ain't going to do all that because they are good, decent people and they're respectful of people. In general, you women are so delusional that you think you got a good dude, but because you were picked, these men are never satisfied. Men like this are never satisfied. The goalposts will always be moved and they're going to turn on you sooner or later. It might not be with the clothing thing, but it's going to be something else. There's always going to be something else. They're going to move the goalposts and then they're going to start disrespecting you for some other reason. There are some of us that don't, we don't want to wrap up in sheets. Like, I don't, I'm not wrapping up in no sheet. I think I'm too cute to cover my face. I'm not covering my hair. I'm not doing none of that. And if a man wants to be disrespectful towards me and you think that somehow y'all, y'all really think that you have a good dude and you think because you were chosen or whatever, like what? These men are garbage human beings. And I'm talking about the ones who feel the need to disrespect women because of what she's wearing. Not everybody wants to wrap up in sheets and cover everything up in the summertime why shouldn't you wear a pair of cute shorts in the summer? It's 90 degrees outside. What do you expect women to you Baggy pants or something. Nobody wants to do that. And nobody deserves to be disrespected because of what they chose to wear. Whether it's the weather or not, it doesn't matter. And the women that think this way, 
it just blows my mind. Like, I, I can't believe that in 2024, y'all still think you have a good dude when he's acting this way. A lot of y'all's husbands and boyfriends and baby daddies be in comment sections of women like me arguing with me, calling us 304s and all types of stuff like we're back in high school. I would be devastated if I found out that my man was arguing with women for any reason. If I found out my husband was at the store and was calling a woman all types of hoes because she had on a pair of booty shorts, y'all think that's cute. I would be devastated. I would be looking for me a new man because I don't want a man like that. Y'all need to check yourselves and y'all need to please raise your self-esteem up off the ground if you really think because you were chosen by a man like that, that somehow that is like the holy grail of life. It's not. He's garbage. And typically you're probably garbage for being with him. I'm just saying something for y'all to think about. I really want to know what she does for work. I really want to know what this woman does for work. Like she sits in her car, make this content. It's never short videos either. So I really want to know what she does for work. Because if she makes this video all in her free time, that's cool. But I really want to know what she does for work. I'm curious at this point. Because if she have responsibilities, um, I typically don't do podcasts at work because I don't think you can. And now I'm not going to make a lot of TikTok videos at work either because I'm at work, you know responsibilities and stuff so i really want to know what she does for her she looked like she a delivery driver yeah i, I, I she make a lot of video just in her car so I, I just want to question that but um she said men who disrespect women that dress a certain way are human trash i say what i said so i never understand how women hate guys to be judgmental but they're judgmental i never understood that I watched that 20 versus one thing and these women just sit there and be bashing guys back and forth. And I guess they're not trash women. Judging a man is not really trash behavior. But if a man said, okay, if a man says something wrong about the way a woman dress, he's trash. How could, and I won't, I won't lie to you. This woman right here, me personally, and I mean this seriously, if I had to either be single for life or, or build, or build a relationship with this woman, I'd be single for life. Something is mentally wrong with this woman. There is some, because guys, I make content and I left the relationship, but I'm still going to be in another relationship because I know what I want out of a relationship. This stuff that happened within a relationship with me, it doesn't affect me to be like, oh my God, I'm just going to be done with these women. No, like I just know there are women not for me and I can't do nothing about that. So I'll move on. That's just life. I'm not going to win in everything in life. That's life. That's what you have to get up and try again with a different situation. That's just life. It's always crazy to me when people start growing to have this huge disdain about a group of individuals, like a real disdain, like you deal with every individual. So when she, most of her videos are like telling women, don't deal with guys, don't be with guys and stuff like that. And blase, blase. I said, don't deal with certain group of women. You know, because I believe there's still a good woman out there, but there will only be a good woman under your leadership. Because without your leadership should be a three or four. And I'm guaranteeing you that. That's just what it is. That's just life. But this woman is upset that there are guys that are saying these women dress like three or fours and they're exposed too much. And she said, I'd be damned before I wear the hijab and cover my body up and just so guys can not talk about me and stuff like that. I don't even think you got to do it for, won't you do it for self-respect? Don't do it for us. Do it for self-respect. You know, I, I, I really want to understand what in women mind makes them feel so comfortable to walk outside with less and less clothes on. Like I, I'm really, I always want to wonder what just, what possesses them to just say, I want to go outside with less and less clothes on. Why? Like, why? Like, even if it's not, she said, well, the summertime, if it's 100 some degrees, it's the summertime. Just why you want to dress. It's summer. It's hot outside. But y'all go in the wintertime. It's all seasons. Y'all want to dress less and less on. Well, I'm going out to the club. I'm going on a date. I'm going like, why you don't want to put on no clothes? How is a man supposed to respect you when you barely want to be dressed? And you want us to judge that? What, what supposed to say about you? Because I would say, like, we human beings pay attention to details. If it's a big person, you're looking at that person because they're big. If it's a skinny person, they're too skinny. You're like, well, why are you so skinny? 
if a person barely dress, you're like, why you don't got no clothes on? It doesn't make sense to us because naturally a lot of us human beings have to keep clothes on or you are hit with sexual indecency. Like you're not covered up. These women want to just go outside with no clothes on and want to be respected. It doesn't make sense to me. You don't want to wear clothes. Why? You're not a child. You're not a little baby in a diaper and stuff like that. Put on some damn clothes. Like what is wrong with you? It doesn't make sense to me. The argument is that women that dress certain type of way. Yes. If a guy, y'all laughed at guys for having not name brand clothes. Why he did he wear, why he dressed like that? Y'all talk about guys fashion sense all the time. So it's like, I don't understand how if a guy sit here and say, oh, my girl just says, I was not like, I don't understand why women don't want to wear clothes. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. It really like, that's one thing I will never understand how women argue about wearing clothes. Like, that's the weirdest argument to me. Like, why do y'all want to argue for not wearing clothes? Like, I will think y'all want to cover up. But clearly, wearing clothes got to be something that y'all must hate. Every time I hear this conversation, they argue to wear less clothes. And then when guys say, yeah, she should wear less clothes. Oh, these disgusting guys, disgusting human beings. Like, you are arguing to wear absolutely nothing. They are agreeing they're human trash. They want to see me naked. You are arguing to be naked. Like, I don't understand. Like, these women want to make it seem like, oh, yeah, I just want girls with no clothes on. You make the argument for it. And when we, when a certain group of guys come in and say, you should cover up, look at this guy's misogynistic. They don't want us to be out here liberated and free. There are a group of guys that will pay for you to be naked. Y'all do it for the free. And when we say cover it up, y'all get mad at us. Y'all hate the guys that say cover up and y'all hate the guys that say show it. But the argument women always make is to show it. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me, guys. Like arguing to be naked and then when guys agree with it, you mad. Guys disagree with it, you mad. Like what? What? Like what is the purpose? Like, like comment, subscribe, guys. Pretend that you are a BS. A lot of good girls can't find a man because men do not like good girls. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm going to explain.